Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem named as partition array to K subset. Now before proceeding forward, let us first understand what is subset. Suppose we have an array of A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5. Okay. So if we take out the values from the array, okay, be it continuous or be it discontinuous. So if we take out A0, A2 and A4, A0, A2 and A4 and we maintain the ordering, then which is known as subset. And then we can take a continuous part too, like we have A0, A1, A2. And the whole array is also a subset of itself. So now let us proceed to the video. So in this problem, we are given an integer array which contains n elements and an integer k. And the task is to check if it could be divided into k non-empty subset. So we would be given an integer array and k values. So we need to group it into k subset. Okay. And each element should belong to either of the subset, and each element should belong not more than one subset. Okay with equal sum of elements okay so we need to divide the whole array into k subset where each subset would have the equal sum okay and none of them should be having zero element okay so let us take the very first example given so we have 2 1 4 5 and 6 and we have k is equals to 3 so we need to group them into three subset so if we take the values 1 and 5 that is this and this and then we take the value 2 and 4 2 and 4 see we have taken 2 and 4 the remaining is 6 so if we take out the sum of all this then this value is 6 this value is 6 and this value is 6 itself so we can say that yes this array can be divided into three segment such that each segment would have the subset and each subset sum would have equal values Okay, this is how we can proceed. Now, before moving forward, so now let us move forward to this problem. So, we can say that if the sum is equal to x, if the sum is equal to x and we need to group it into k subset, okay, and each subset has a sum, suppose y. So, y plus y plus y plus y and then k times okay k times would have the value of x this means that k multiplied by y is equal to x is equal to x so y is equal to x by k okay so if y equals to x by k is an integer then only we can proceed why because we are given an integer array so, the sum can never be in decimal format. So, if we have an integer array and we take the subset out of it, then it would have an integer value. So, if this value is not an integer value, that means that we can't divide it. Suppose we have the sum as 5 and 6 and we need to divide it into two parts. So, 5 plus 6 is equals to 11. 11 by 2 is equals to 5.5. So, this decimal 5.5 can never be achieved by an integer array. Okay. So, this is the first observation that we can do. That the total sum divided by the number of subset that we need to make should be an integer. So, if x modulo k is not equal to 0, not equal to 0, then we can say that not possible. That is the value would be false okay we note this point okay so now let us move forward so the first easiest approach is let us observe the given sample test case only so in this given sample test case we can say that if we want to have so what is the total sum total sum is 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 5 12 12 plus 6 is equals to 18 so, 18 divided by 3 is equals to 6. So, if we want to achieve the value 6, then what is the way we can do it? So, we can have 2 and we can start filling it. 
so if we have two added to one then we have two added to four but four won't fit in so we can say that two and then one so if we have two and one then we can see that there is no other values that can fit in this the third position and and have the value as six so we know that a greedy approach won't work okay greedy approach won't work that we would start filling the smaller elements or the larger elements so this can't be the process even if we sort this this won't help us okay and the next observation by doing this approach is that suppose we have the subset as 1 and 5 then the sum matters to us so even if we have the sum 1 5 and 1 then this won't make a difference so even we can alter the ordering of the current array although this is out of the context of the solution this won't drive us into solution but yes we now have a conclusion that even if the ordering of the element is changed we would have the correct answer so even if we have a solution where the ordering of the elements needs to be changed we can move forward with that here we don't have a solution towards that but still if we have that we can move forward in that direction okay so these are the two conclusion three con uh, true conclusion that the first one is it should be divisible by k some should be divisible by k the next is that the ordering does not matter okay because we need the sum okay the third one after these two observation we found out that a greedy approach won't work so now we the, if a greedy approach is not working or if we can not move in a predefined manner okay so we need to explore all possible combination so if this thing comes in that we need to explore all possible combination then the first thing that should hit in your mind is solving it using recursion so we now know that we need to solve it using recursion so how to solve it using recursion that a particular element that a particular element suppose it is e then either can this e can fit into k0 or k1 or k2 here we would take in consideration that we need to divide it into three segments so either this e would be contributed in this this or this but the problem would arise when this e has already contributed to k0 and we don't want it to contribute further why because it has been mentioned that an element should be a part of only one segment okay so we need to find a way where the element once it is contributed to some segment it shouldn't contribute to, to some other segment we need to think of something okay so now we can say that we can use the concept of backtracking why backtracking because what we can do is we can first say it yes i have used okay suppose i would just use the concept of graph or dfs or bfs so if a dfs or bfs in a graph so if suppose i have visited this e then i won't use it in my further segments so before adding it to a new segment i would just check if it is unvisited or not like it hasn't been used up till now or not if it has already been used then we won't be using it and and if somehow okay so what is the idea of recursion we explore all possible ways so exploring in one way means that suppose we include the segment in e in k the first k itself and in the next k we shouldn't use it but suppose this isn't this way didn't lead us to a solution then we need to check something else to check the something else we need the concept of backtracking first we would mark it visited and we would move forward that first we would use this or we would use this or we would use this if this doesn't lead us to a solution then we would mark it unvisited also like visited of e should be again made false after the traversal thing and then we should need to again move back so let us conclude what we did understand so we did understand that the sum is absolutely important okay why sum is absolutely very important because if the sum is not divisible by k then we can't divide it because if we divide it we would have a decimal value and decimal value is not possible using the subset sum of an integer array we can't have it next we moved forward and then we had that the ordering is not ordering does not matter okay 
then we had the greedy thing that yes if we try to have all the small elements and then achieve the sum or if we try to use all the big elements and then achieve the sum then this won't be possible so this won't be possible so we need to explore all possible ways to explore all possible ways we need to take care that once if an element has contributed to a particular segment it shouldn't start contributing to some other segment so to have this we need to mark it visited and the next time we have we proceed to one more path then we need to again mark it unvisited so let us visualize this also suppose we have this path we have this path we have this path and this would lead us to a solution suppose this would lead us to a solution so if we have this path and we have used this a in k of 1 k of 1 we have used this a so we would mark it visited and then till the end we would keep it visited but now suppose we want to explore this path if we are exploring this path then at this point e should be again reinvented or rejuvenated so that we can use it in against some segment so what we would do is in the next path we would again mark it unvisited and this is how we would keep proceeding even after all this exploration we are not able to reach to a particular value we would discard it and yes we would say that yes this is not possible itself so now let us proceed to the implementation and you would have a better idea of it so first we would have so first we would have the sum so we would initialize the sum and we would start so int i is equals to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus and we would keep adding the sum of a of i at the end if sum modulo k is not equal to 0 that if it is not possible then we would simply return 0 okay and then we would have a visited array also so what we would do is vector of int of visited array with all the index that we have used this particular index or not and initially we would mark all as unvisited and then we would have sum divided by k itself that we would have the sum that is to be achieved by each segment okay now we would build up the function okay so what we would do is we would simply have it as the rec function okay and then we would have the sum that is to be achieved and then we would have the size and then we would have the vector int of the visited array and we would pass this by reference because we need it so that it remains with its value for the future iterations okay and then we would have the current sum what is the current sum that is there and then we would have the array passed to it and then we have the k value so if k equals to equals to 1 then we would return the value true that if if we are able to complete all the k segments then we would return 1 and if the current segment current sum is greater than the sum that we need then we would return the false value now if the current sum if somehow reaches to the position that it is to the sum that we have achieved the sum for the particular k so we would move to the next k and we would reset the counter of the current sum this is what we would do other than that nothing would change so we would have int rec or sum and then n would remain the same visited array would also remain the same this would become 0 and a and then k minus 1 okay so we would now have k minus 1 then we would start iterating on the for loop int i is equals to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus okay if the particular value is unvisited then only we can use that value for the for further k so what we would do is we would first mark it as visited we marked it visited then we would move forward with rec of sum n would remain there and then current sum would get added to the current value that is a of i and a and k would remain the same if this returns me a true value then we would return true that yes at the end this has pointed to a path that is possible else what we would do is we would again mark it as unvisited and we would explore a new path and even 
after all this we weren't able to find a way to achieve k segment with equal sum we would return false value okay now let us call this function okay so to call this function what we would do is return rec of sum and then n and then the visited array and 0 and then a and the k itself then let us just compile and run okay so we forgot to have the visited array at this position okay any more errors that we have seems like let us see okay this is working fine for the sample test case but still we would have that if the number of segments that is to be achieved is greater than the number of elements then also we would return a false value let us just again compile and run for our satisfaction okay now let us submit this and see if we can get an ac or not and yes we got an ac that's it for today thank you and have a nice day if you face any difficulty regarding the understanding of the code or the explanation feel free to raise your doubts in the comment section